I hope he's bringing some food. Darling, how much did you earn today? We need to buy something for lunch. Just enough to, maybe, buy one kilo of rice and a can of sardines. Hi, when we had our own land, we ate a lot better. We grew our own rice and we planted vegetables. We're never hungry. I still can't believe they took away our land. They're killing us. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. We workers are organizing ourselves. One day, we will take our land back. Just 94 eggplants, 54 okra. Oh my god. This is so expensive. I know, right? To think we're in a pandemic and people don't have jobs and money for food. Didn't the government say that this would be cheaper if we import food? Does this look cheaper to you? It's not that I'm happy selling imported vegetables. Importation kills the livelihood of our local farmers. Maybe. I'll just go to the supermarket. Ah, uh, it's even more expensive here. It's all processed or imported. Did you hear the news? The government just imposed a new lockdown. Oh no, again? How will we bring our produce to the town market? It's okay. We have survived this before. At least we have something to eat and share among ourselves. And we don't need to buy seeds and chemical inputs. You are right. I just wish that other people have access to our produce as well. We all have to eat healthy nowadays. By the way, do you have some vegetable seeds left? I'll exchange some of mine. Sure. These seeds here are extremely climate resilient. And, and corporate, corporate control, control of food, food and, and agriculture. agriculture. Break the chains. Food sovereignty now. <laughs> <laughs>